What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I figured we'd go over three Laserdisc players that I found at Goodwill. And then as a bonus, we'll go over the two on top. Uh, more specifically, the one on top because it's an upgrade. It just became my living room Laserdisc player. And it's the best Laserdisc player that I have. Alright, let's get started on the middle unit right here. Hold on one second, let me grab my notes. This used to be my main unit until I picked up a, uh, a better unit that plays both, both sides. Because uh, remember, you have to flip the disc on these. The early ones, some of the, uh, I guess, closer to middle end units would actually have, and of course the higher end units, would play both sides. Uh, so this is a CLD V2600. It came out in 1996. I paid about, I think I paid $19.99 for this at Goodwill. This unit right here... Uh, you can buy this for, for around 100 to 120 shipped off of eBay, no problem. I would say it's probably a, a lower end laser disc player. It doesn't play, like I said, it doesn't play two sides. It has very limited, no bells and whistles connections on the back of it. Uh, it's just a very basic, probably entry level unit. But at the same time, I used this unit before I found the other ones and before I upgraded it, and it's a beast. Never had any problems with it. Works great. Uh, plays every movie. Pioneer, man, made great systems. So even low-end systems were good pieces of equipment. Let's check out the, uh, the tray. Nice and smooth. Never had any issues with that. Basically, we'll go over the front of the unit, and then we'll go to the back of the unit. Basic uh, play, pause, open, close. There's a jog wheel on it. To move forward or backwards, these are probably um, chapter selectors where you can go uh, forward or backwards in the story. I'm not sure why there's four of them. Display, I don't think does anything. and You have to have your TV screen uh, pulled up. There is a uh, headphone jack, uh, volume control for the headphone jack. The power button is not like a springy, it's a clicky button. When you turn it on, it'll look for a disc, and if it doesn't have any disc in it, it'll say no disc. It's got a rectangular graphic on here. This is for the chapter, so you know what chapter you're on in the movie. See, it says no disc. So, yeah, man, uh, it's, I never had any issues with it. It's a good unit, good entry-level unit. Let's go ahead and check out the back of it and see what kind of connections are on there. Alright guys, so here it is. I think I talked about the manufacturer data already, and I don't even know if that's picking up. But it's 1996 on it. Uh, no bells and whistles on this one, guys. You have your basic AV connection here. There's your audio. There's your video. It does have an S-video, but unless your TV has, unless your laser disc player has a higher comb filter than your TV, that's not going to matter. Composite's going to look better. It has an interface connector. I guess that's for connecting to a computer monitor. And then it has these old school uh, coax connections right there. And if you're using those, you probably should upgrade your TV. And that's it. No AC3 out. No digital. Just a basic stripped down unit. But again, decent entry level unit. And a workhorse. All right, guys. Let's go to the next laser disc that I picked up. Or laser disc player that I picked up at Google. Alright, yeah, so next up is this baby right here. This is probably the sleekest unit that I have and the uh, nicest looking unit. If I knew nothing about Laserdisc and looked at this, I would think this would be the newest of all of them. Funny enough, this came out in 1989, so this is the oldest Laserdisc player that I own. So again, no bells and whistles in this one because obviously it came out in 1989. Now, very similar graphic on there for the chapters. That was done the same way. The only difference is this one actually shows the the time at zero. I don't think there's a laser disc player in there, but it actually just shows the uh, the timer there. And this one actually reads digital audio. Which I don't believe the other one did that. Oh yeah, it does. Digital sound. Yeah, it's the same. All right, so um, button layout here. Stop. Open. Yeah, so that should. Let's go ahead and open this baby up. This one has a flap, unlike this one. This one just comes straight out. Check out the flap on this. is re really cool. So there you go. And that flap will close at the end, which is really nice. 
Yeah, man. I mean, a really sleek looking unit. Someone opened beer bottles on this fucking thing. Or at least two times. Other than that, it's in really nice shape. You can actually see the price over here. Oh, that's coming in. $19.99 on that, guys. So, another $20 unit. Now, what have I not mentioned so far? So, stop, open, play, pause. It's got track selection, skip. Not sure what these are. Oh, it's too dark. I can't even read those. Uh, you can choose chapters uh, individually, which is cool. The other one doesn't have anything like that. And then you have your, uh, again, phone jack and the volume control for that. So, yeah, I mean, it's from 1989, guys, so it's not going to have too much going on on the back, if I remember correctly. I mean, because it's from 1989. So let's go ahead and check out the back on it. It should be pretty similar to the one that we just looked at. So, yeah, same basic setup here. One set of uh, composite cables, and then it has the coax connections again. I'm not really sure. It has something extra here that's right next to the coaxial that says control. I would assume that's an obsolete, obsolete technology. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you guys know. I'm really not sure. I mean, it looks like a pin cable. So, I'm not sure on that at all. All right, guys, let's check out the LaserDisc player that I've been using for over a year in my living room. It's my main player. All right, guys, yeah, so I've watched a lot of lasers on this one right here. This is the CLD D503. This came out in 1994. You can get one of these between $130 and $150 generally. Now, this one does play both sides. So this is a uh, middle end. It's definitely not a low end. This is, a, this is a middle end player right here. It's got the separate CD here. If you, if you click direct CD. Well, that's right, we gotta turn it on first. Push button, not a push button. Once we get it turned on here, you can see actually the tracks are not in that square anymore. They're laid out across the bottom. And then if we press direct CD, that'll light up. And then if you want to play music, you can click that out. You can get that to, uh, to pop out. And it's got that tray as well, that flap, which is cool. And then if you want to open, unclick direct CD, and then click that, the tray will come out. Now, this unit right here is the best unit that I had until I purchased one off of eBay the other day. Um, but it does have an issue. I'm not sure what's causing it, but when you put a laser disc in there and you press play, it'll mess around for a little while and then it won't play. And as I say that, it's actually playing. Oh, no, no disc. There's no disc in there. But it'll mess around if there's a disc in there and it will the, the tray will automatically spit back out. And then you do it a second time and it'll work. So I don't know why it does that. It generally does that. Um, so kind of odd. It's probably something to do with a belt or something. Or probably needs to be cleaned up. Just needs a little TLC. But um, yeah, man, a beast of a unit. Um, you know, this is a, um, like I said, man, this is a, a middle range type of unit. Um, great entry level unit. I mean, the only thing that kind of surprised me, and I, for whatever reason, I was thinking that I had hooked up to digital. It does not have it, so I'm so glad that I that I upgraded. That was a big deal for me. Um, let's go over the buttons real quick. You got jog wheel again on there. Disc A, B, you can manually um, change sides. We talked about the direct CD. This uh, forwards the chapter, reverses the chapter. You got some audio operations here. You can probably change from two channel uh, to one channel. Uh, it's got repeat buttons. And I'm not sure what the rest of those are. And again, the, the jack, um, the phone jack and the volume control for that. Now, let's go ahead and check out the back of the unit. I don't think I mentioned, I picked this one up, I believe it was like $24.99. Now, the only upgrade on this one, as far as the audio is concerned, is you have an extra set, or audio and video is concerned, you have an extra set of composites. That's it. And again, it has that control connection but this time it doesn't have the uh, antenna or the VHF out it just has the control alone so again something I'm not really too familiar with all right let's get to the next unit on the stack all right I do have the original 
remote for that 503 so because i've had it so long i ordered that remote online all right next up here guys this is the holy grail of my video game console collection right here guys the pioneer laser active cld a100 now i did a video showing everything that this thing could do pretty much so i'll put that in the end end of the video so you can just click on the video and check that out if you want to see that so i'm not going to go into depth about this uh, beautiful unit you can see I have the Sega Genesis Sega CD pack right there this is how the pack I got the PC engine pack as well and that's how that looks kind of like an old-school car stereo type of deal so you can pop that out if you want to play PC engine games now this plays Sega CD games here you can put Sega Genesis cartridges in there use all the regular controllers or you can use, or you can pop that out and put the PC Engine, play Hue Card PC Engine games and CDs, PC Engine CDs, Super CD games in here. So that's badass. Now, I learned something about this that I did not know or just didn't think to check because people don't really use digital, those digital lines anymore. I mean, they just they never really got love. This actually does have digital, so we'll go, we'll talk about that in a second when we get to the back of it. But um, is this baby plugged in? This actually has a push button which is really cool and you notice the trend with these they all have amber lighting I guess that was big back in the laser disc days amber was like futuristic I guess yeah they're all amber so that'll click the CD and the LD will turn green which is cool change up the color a little bit and then if you want CD just press CD right here I can't remember if there's a flap or it just comes out completely I think it comes in, oh yeah there's a flap Pop that back in. Now this is a low, this is a low end laser disc player. It does not play both sides. But but come on guys, this is not meant to play laser disc player. This is not meant to play lasers. This is meant to game. Or play, yeah, play a laser disc game. You're not gonna be watching laser disc movies on something this expensive. Click that and the whole thing comes out. I've never watched a laser on this. I've, I mean I've tested it. All right, so that's pretty much it right there. You have a, what the hell is this? Some kind of digital memory. I can't believe I don't know what that is. I have not really messed with that much, the digital me uh, memory. Every one of my players has headphones, volume control there, play. Um, and this is how you release the uh, the pack to put, put another pack in there. You can get a karaoke pack for this as well. But that's it. There's three main packs. There's some kind of computer deal that nobody gives a flying f about but that's it guys let's check out the back of it of the uh, pioneer laser active what a beauty look at that system oh i forgot to mention you can play sega uh, uh actual sega laser disc games and you can play pioneer not pioneer uh turbo engine laser disc games in here as well which i do not own any of at this moment they're not supposed to be really that good I'll tell you guys, this beast right here actually, where is it at? It's this one right here, actually has all new capacitors in it, which is over 100 capacitors are replaced. And so it's basically a restored unit. It's uh, To get one that has that plays brand new like this one with all new capacitors, it's going to cost you an arm and a leg. Forget about it. Um, so you have two sets of composite on here. And here's the digital, man, that I just didn't. Now that I'm getting into laser disc players and learning about these, Underused connections, you have the infrared beam in there. Underused connections like this, this is amazing. I'm going to be able to use this now digital, and the sound of my gaming is going to be so much better than that analog signal right there. It also has this audio mono, which I'm not too familiar with. I guess I don't know what this is. It's like a, I'm not sure what that is either. And then it has uh, your video, two videos, and then again it has the the control pin connection uh, females connection ports right there this came out in 1993 guys yeah so that's a beast all right guys let's check out the last one and my best laser disc player that i just got okay yeah guys so this is now officially my best laser disc player right here the cld d704 this came out in 1995 this can pretty much do anything the Elite um, Pioneers can do as far as audio. 
A uh, really good system right here. This is right before high end. This is right before you're paying $600 to $1,000 and even upwards. This is the best bang for your buck American player are right up there with the best of them uh, for sure. It can do everything. Um, so it reads both sides. Same thing. It looks exactly like my 503 model. I mean, just look at it. I mean, they're almost, besides the buttons here in this section right here, that's different. There's some extra features on there. But other than that, it's exactly like it. Very similar. Oh, you know what? I didn't go into this earlier. Let's go over, um, I want to say, maybe my, other, yeah, my, my 503 does have that. So it has what's called film mode. I didn't show you on my 503. You can turn that on and it'll get rid of this. Is I guess when you're watching at nighttime, that's, that's called film mode. You don't want any light to come from the, uh, which I never really understood. I mean, why? Who cares? The TV's giving off all kinds of light. What does it matter if you shut that off? What is that going to do? Um, so jog wheel. Now, the, the big difference in this one, it has actually has digital noise reduction features on here. It says variable and standard. And then there's some kind of... Uh, you can shut shut the digital noise off, so that keeps there from being any kind of hissing or any. Because laser disc players are loud, man, and um, you know you will have you will hear some 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 uh, some digital noise. You you definitely will hear it. Um, so yeah, uh, tracks are the same on this one. It's got some other stuff right here. I showed you the film mode. Uh, I don't know what this is. What is this? That doesn't do anything. So you must have to have the TV on to do that. Phone jack, or not phone jack, uh, yeah, headphone jacks, level. Um, what else? Let me see. And it says right there, this is very important, guys. AC3 out, RF. We're going to go over that right now. And if I didn't have to jump across these cords right here, I would, I would quit pausing and just do it. But we'll pause for the cause, and we'll check out the back of this beastly player right here. All right, so you have your standard composite. You have two sets of those. Here's your video right there. You have that same one that we've seen on almost all the players now. Or maybe, was that on, yeah, it was on that one. Yeah, it's actually on every, it's on every player except for this unit right here. And that's that control, control connections. Now, finally, we have, well, we did have it on the, um, the actual laser active. But here's your digital connection right here, guys. That's going to give you amazing sound right there. That's going to give you that true surround, that digital true surround. Then you have two S videos, right? And then up here, you have AC3 RF out, guys. This is why you buy this. You got your digital to watch your DTS, which sound amazing. DTS is a true is a true digital surround basically okay rf out right here these are competing factors our ac3 rf out is actually dolby digital surround sound guys so that sounds amazing this sounds amazing on dts to have both of them you got your composite you got everything that you need right here guys to have a great speaker setup and a great sounding home theater system right here so this model right here, the 704, is definitely the way to go if you want to spend under $500 for one of these players and have the best possible for the bang uh, of how much money you spend. This is definitely the player to go with. All right, guys, let's uh, check out one more thing, and I will end the video. So there you go, guys. That's my LaserDisc player collection. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, oh, it looks like we got a visitor here. Well, this ladybug chose her favorite laser disc player. Oh yeah, you're a big fan of DTS. You don't want to be on the speakers in a minute when I give this thing a test run. All right, so that's it. Uh, why, why is Sony always trying to be on top of Pioneer? You made sucky laser disc players and sucky laser disc. So all you can do is make that stupid noise. All right, guys, let's give this baby a test run and test out some DTS. Lace Tracks, DTS, Digital Theater System, Digital Surround Sound. All right, guys, I have a five-speaker setup. Let's go ahead and check out this DTS sound. And also, it came with the remote. I think I mentioned it's complete in box. It has a jog wheel on it, which is cool. And then at nighttime, when it's pitch black, 
press this button right there and these will light up, which I thought was nice. Now this thing will read DTS, it'll lock onto the DTS signal. I have a newer receiver, it's probably, I don't know, 2015 maybe. I'll watch in a second here, it'll, it'll lock onto that DTS. Oh shit, forgot to press play. Freaking idiot! There it is, DTS. Sounds like I'm in a movie theater, guys. I bullshit you not.